Let's calculate the molar mass for acetosalicylic acid. You might know this as aspirin. So this is the structural formula for aspirin. And you can see that we have carbon atoms here, 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 and here. And we would also have hydrogen atoms as well off of some of these carbons here. Each carbon is bonded to four things. So if you count up all the hydrogens, carbons, and oxygens, you get the molecular formula of C9 H8 O4 for aspirin. So we use this formula here to find the molar mass for acetosalicylic acid. So we go to the periodic table, we find carbon right here, 12.01, and the units are grams per mole. I won't write that each time, let's write that at the end. We have nine carbon atoms, so we're gonna multiply that by nine, plus hydrogen, we have 1.01 .01 grams per mole, we have eight hydrogen atoms. Finally, oxygen, 16.00 grams per mole, and we have four oxygen atoms. So what we do is we multiply these numbers here, and then we add them all together. And when we do that, we get 0.17, and the units, grams per mole. My periodic table rounds to two decimal places. If your periodic table rounds to a different number, you might have a slightly different figure right here. What this means is if we have one mole of C9H8O4, acetosalicylic acid, also called aspirin, that's going to weigh 180.17 grams. This is Dr. B with the molar mass for acetosalicylic acid, aspirin. Thanks for watching.